Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's go over how to write the formula for some ionic compounds. And this will be a basic introductory video. Okay, up first, we have a calcium ion with a positive 2 charge and a phosphorus ion with a negative 3 charge. Remember, with an ionic compound, you have a metal and a nonmetal combined. Calcium is a metal, and phosphorus is a non-metal. So we're going to write it. Remember, the cation, the positive ion, always goes first, and the anion goes second. So now what we need to do is we need a zero charge. So an easy way to do this is just crisscross, and so we're going to take the two from the calcium, and we're going to crisscross, and it will go with the phosphorus, and then the negative 3 charge. We are not taking the charge, just the um, number. And then when we cr crisscross, we have to take the 3 to the calcium. So it will be written calcium with a subscript of 3, and phosphorus with a subscript of 2. Up next, we have sodium ion with a charge of 1 and a sulfur ion with a negative 2 charge. Remember again the cation goes first, anion goes second. We're going to do the crisscross method. We're going to take the number 2 of sulfur, crisscross, and it goes with the sodium. And then the 1 charge goes with the sulfur. We don't necessarily have to write the 1. So we end up with Na2S. And finally, we have calcium ion with a plus 2 charge, chlorine with a negative 1 charge, cation goes first, anion goes second. We're going to do the crisscross method. When we crisscross, we take the 2 of the calcium, it goes with the chlorine. The 1 charge of the chlorine goes with the calcium. So we end up with a CACL with a subscript of 2. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.